25. Those who are knowing in the truth are the ones who are following the guidance of the truth, and so it will go well with them. 26. You who do not know about the real truth, but who are bound up with a belief, it makes no difference to you whether you are warned against the untruth or not, because for you the belief is more important than the real truth. 27. You who are far from the truth because of belief or as a wise seeker or gainsayer, your rationality and your intellect are sealed, your ears are deaf, your eyes are blind, and your senses are enveloped in a shroud, which means that your life is burdensome and you are in constant fear of punishment. 28. If you break the bond of creation that it has established between you and it, and if you cut this bond that was created by a connective recommendation, then you are creating dispeace on earth, and then you are the losers. 29. How can you deny the formation creation, because through it you have received your very life, because it gave life to you, but it will also let you die? Although to give life back to you in a long succession and always in new persons, and then you will return to the formation creation, in the far future. 30. It is the formation creation, that created everything for you that is on earth through its might, and it perfected everything in the firmament universe, and on earth. 31. The formation creation, has placed you human beings, on earth to govern, and you shall not use people of your kind human beings, for creating dispeace on earth and shedding blood. 32. However, those of you who give the appearance of knowing the truth and that you are also connected to it, although you unwillingly fall into the lie and are only believers, it is you who are attempting to deceive the truth. 33. You have no knowledge except for that which you are capable of learning through the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation, and through the laws of appearance nature, because your thoughts and feelings result from them. 34. The true proclaimer, the true prophet, he knows many secrets of the firmament universe, and the earth's worlds, and he knows what the laws and recommendations of creation and the laws of appearance nature, reveal. But the secret that is also immeasurable for him is the origination creation, itself. 35. Those amongst you who deceive the truth through your beliefs are only deceiving yourselves, but this is beyond your intellect because you do not comprehend it. 36. You who are far from the truth and are only connected to a belief, your rationality and your intellect have fallen victim to a disease of confusion that is based on deception and lie which is why you suffer the pangs of torments in fear of possible punishments that might be hanging over your heads. 37. And if the dinas of truth and the believers are told that they shall not cause any turmoil or any dispeace on earth, then they deny their intentions, they lie and deceive, perjure themselves, bless weapons in order to be victorious in battles wars, and in killing murdering, and they claim to be promoters of love peace and consonance harmony. 38. Guard yourself against the dinas of truth, the twisters of truth and against fanatical believers, because they are the ones who are stirring up trouble as well as creating lovelessness, dispeace and unfreedom, although they do not comprehend it. 39. Get out, all of you, out of your false thoughts, and follow the guidance of the true proclaimers, the prophets so that no fear will fall upon you and you will not have to sorrow. 40. If the dinas of truth, the twisters of truth, wise seekers and believers are told that only the real truth is important and that they must strive for the real truth, then they do not want to turn towards the truth but remain living in their lies and falsifications, as well as in denial of the truth, and in their delusional belief because they are fools and for this reason you shall guard against them if you do not know about their foolishness or rationality. 41. You human beings, remember the good deeds of the creative creation, as have been presented to you since time immemorial and continue to be presented, therefore fulfill your bond with it so that your life will be rich, 
satisfied and of long duration, and you will find your protection in yourselves and in the fulfillment of the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation. 42. Know about the truth and about everything that the creative creation has created and sent down to you on earth as confirmation of what is disastrous and also of how things will be with you in the future if you fail in knowledge about the truth and you barter away the signs unsurpassable of the creative creation for a miserable prize. 43. When believers, wise seekers, opponents, deniers of truth and twisters of truth meet with those who are aware of the truth, then they say that they themselves are also connected to the truth. However, when they are alone with those of the same views then they laugh and say that they are only mocking the people knowing in the truth. 44. You who mock the people who are aware of the truth. You are committing an outrage on yourselves and punishing all of yourself yourselves. So you're going into confusion and your blindness. 45. The dinners of truth and believers have sunk in their delusion into a false conduct, as a result of which their thoughts and feelings as well as their actions do not produce any evolutive success or gain, which is an unavoidable consequence of having been led astray by themselves as well as by others, meaning that they live in deep darkness and cannot see or recognize the truth. 46. Search for assistance and patience and truth which although it may be difficult will reward anyone who makes the effort. 47. Those of you who know about the truth will encounter it everywhere and return to it again and again. 48. O oh, you human beings, think of the good deeds of the formation creation, and of the appearance nature, created from it, and think of your life which would not be without it. 49. And fear the day on which none of the people of your kind human being, gives account for you as a helpmeet substitute, and does not intercede for you and also cannot afford any ransom when you are in misery and you have to vindicate yourselves before life. 50. Deniers of truth, believers, wise eagers, twisters of truth and opponents of truth are deaf, dumb and blind to the reality, therefore they cannot find the path to the real truth of reality. 51. Belief and untruth create anxieties and fear of death in you, therefore you shall turn to the truth so that you will become knowing and you can free yourselves from anxiety and fear. 52. Think of the time when the prophets made you promises that you would have a good life in the far future if you turn to the true teaching of truth and the teaching of spirit and the teaching of life, but you have failed to observe the promises and have continued to walk the path of denying truth. Therefore today turmoil, inequity and fairness, lovelessness, dispeace, unfreedom and disharmony reign in you, but the proclaimers, the prophets, forgave you so that you ought to be thankful, but you have cast everything to the wind and cursed the prophets, but they have come back in order to teach you the real truth down to the current day. 53. Think of the time when the prophets told you that you have gone against yourselves and are doing inappropriate things to yourselves because you are praying to gods and tin gods and are turning further and further away from the primal raising creation, and you have continued to do so to the current day, and you have killed your neighbors and fought battles wars, with bloody deeds murder, and fire in the name of a fabulated invented. God in order to provide cowardly vindication for your terrible actions. 54. Your world and all the life and it have come about through the truth and love of the soul and all embracing primal wellspring creation, through the principles of the inner world of firmaments universal consciousness, as a bed for you and the firmament as a roof, the earth as arable land and water as refreshment so that food may be brought forth. Therefore the primal wellspring creation shall not have any god, any demons, any liberators angels, any venerable ones holy ones, or helpers substitutes, set at its side.